I'm in eighth grade. And I like shopping and Facebooking and texting. We are the people who will try. I'm 13 and I'm in eighth grade. Of all the best of our lives. I like dancing and shopping. All human share the same desires. I want to get a master's in business, whatever, or be a fashion designer, maybe. I want to either be a prima ballerina or like the scientific part of, of uh, criminal justice and stuff. Has your school ever mentioned nuclear warfare or nuclear bombs? No. Have they ever talked about that? Not really. I mean, we like. We just had a. We read a paper on it. We did? I, I guess in history class, but like, not really. Polaris, the Navy's long-range ballistic missile fired from nuclear-powered submarines now roving the world's oceans, complements land-based weapons for our national defense. The vast majority of the people in the world today just don't understand the enormous danger that we still face from nuclear weapons. And that's the work that lies before us now, trying to reignite a broad general understanding. Uh, of, of what is at stake here and why it is so urgently important. Those who coordinate the building of our nuclear weapons. And the importance of keeping alive a sense of enterprise, you know, groups of people working together in common purpose. Arguments, technical disagreements, institutional friction, whatever. That's always been part of the nuclear weapons program. Uh, but in the end, it is that sense of enterprise. This work is to honor the millions of citizens and our greatest leaders around the world who stood up against the weaponizing of this technology and stood up for the future generations of humanity. In 1950, a peace congress was called in Melbourne, rallying to urgently call for an end to testing and making of nuclear weapons in the world. Concerned citizens could not all fit in the hall. In 1957, A.J. Musty leads a Hiroshima Nagasaki prayer vigil. He and 10 others are arrested entering our nuclear testing site. Their good efforts are carried with us to the present. So our main purpose was to do something that would highlight and show the resistance that we all feel and the awareness that we all have for the immorality, illegality, um, horrendousness of even considering ever using a nuclear weapon. And so we had to do something that was a bit dramatic because we were limited people. Ever cross your mind that you might have lost your life? Of course, but I believe everybody, they can be killed for doing what they know is right. And after the Cold War ended, we faced a different problem. Everybody began to act as though the problem of nuclear war had gone away. But it hadn't. Just our attention to it had, had vanished. And we were still left with thousands, tens of thousands of nuclear weapons, many of them still today on hair trigger alert, able to be launched in a matter of minutes at a public which, by and large, doesn't pay attention to the issue and today isn't really that well informed about it. The whole generation has grown up since the Cold War, which never was taught this stuff. It's not their fault, they were never taught about it. May the bells ring out this message of peace. Men and women of the world, never again plan war. With this atomic bomb, war can only mean suicide for the human race. From this atomic waste, the people of Nagasaki can confront the world and cry out, No more war! Let us follow the commandment of love and work together. The people of Nagasaki prostrate themselves before God and pray. Grant that Nagasaki may be the last, the last atomic, atomic wilderness in the, in the history of the world. The last atomic wilderness in the history of the world. This is the launch site for an intercontinental ballistic missile. These missiles present a screen of retaliatory capability behind which stronger complexes are being constructed. People of my generation who did know this stuff back in the 1980s have either forgotten it or maybe more accurately have, have actively repressed that information because it's so painful to think about what will happen if there's a nuclear war.